Hello, I'm Robin and welcome to Bookspin. Today we're going to look at short stories that people have recommended to me over the past few weeks during Short Sci-Fi September. So the bulk of these came via the book giveaway competition which I set up, in which I asked everyone who took part to recommend a sci-fi short story. So I've got some really interesting stories that were recommended that way, but I also received a few short story recommendations that came via comments on various videos over the past few weeks. So I've decided to include those as well. So I've put all of these recommendations, these comments here, and I'm going to go through each of them. Um, I've decided to use this photo as my backdrop. This is a photo which I took of a sunrise off the, the coast of South Korea a few years ago. I just thought it's quite a nice photo and a nice um, backdrop. Anyway, let's get stuck in. Let's start off with the recommendations that came via the book giveaway. So thank you for everyone who took part. I've got some really interesting and intriguing stories here and many stories that I'd like to follow up on and check out. This is the first recommendation. It comes from Mormon Gill, Zima Blue by Alistair Reynolds. I have a soft spot for stories about changes to consciousness, both public consciousness and individual, over a long, relative term, of course, period of time. So thank you for this one. Yeah, uh, this is not an Alistair Reynolds story that I've read yet, but it's definitely on my radar. Something that I really want to read. And of course, if you've seen my recent interview with Alistair Reynolds in which we talk about short stories, this is a story that he talks about in that video. So I highly recommend you, you check that video out to, to learn more. Um, and it sounds like a really interesting story. It, it was made um, more famous, of, of course, because of the adaptation on Netflix in Love, Death and Robots, which I haven't seen yet, but I have just started watching that series. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting to the episode and I definitely do want to pick up a copy of the Zima Blue, Zima Blue short story collection. So yeah. That's a great recommendation, thank you. Next, this one comes from Richard at Vintage SF, which of course is a great science fiction booktube channel. And I'll link that in the description down below. And Richard recently also appeared on my channel uh, in the, the video, what was it called? I think it's called Amazing SF Short Stories, in which he uh, and a few other booktubers gave me their recommendations. So he's got another one here. This one is The Little Black Bag by C.M. Cornbluth, 1951. A doctor's black bag from the future is accidentally sent to the past, present day, US, 1951. An alcoholic, down on his luck, former doctor, comes into possession of the bag. Idiot-proof instructions help him use its contents but someone notices and wants to profit from it. What starts out as a story of redemption becomes very dark. That sounds fascinating. I've not read any CM Cornbluth before. I'm not really familiar with that writer, but this sounds like a very interesting story and something that I would enjoy. The next one comes from JP Lovecraft, who actually won this competition. Uh, so this is their recommendation, Tower of Babylon by Ted Chiang. I like stories that put a spin on other stories, especially stories that are tied to long-held beliefs about the exploration and explanation of existence. Good one here. Yes, I agree with this one. I have read this story. It's part of Ted Chiang's collection, Stories of Your Life and Others. And if I remember correctly, I think this might be the first story in that volume. And I, I totally agree. I love this story. I think that was probably my favourite in that whole collection. Um, the, uh, yeah, the stories about stories 
in in this case it's uh, the the tower of babel you know the 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 myth from the bible basically uh it's um it's a really interesting story it's it's a story which i'd actually even thought about including in my top 10 short stories list but it, it didn't quite make it to the list in the end but great recommendation thank you um next one comes from kevin's novel advice who also has an amazing booktube channel which i'll link down below well worth checking out and he recommends the toy beacon vector by ray bradbury this is not a story i've heard of um but I'm sure it's going to be great because Ray Bradbury is an amazing author. I've only read one book by him, by him so far, and that's The Martian Chronicles, but I love that book so much. It's probably in my top five books of all time at the minute. Uh, so I would I definitely need to read more Bradbury. Um, this is not one I'm familiar with. Okay. Next recommendation comes from Douglas Reynolds, The Worlds of Jack Vance, any Silverberg short story collection. So we've got a couple of things here. I think these are more collections rather than individual stories. Uh, but that sounds great. I'll definitely look out for those books. Jack Vance, I've not read before. I recently picked up a copy of The Dying Earth. Um, so I do need to check out this writer, Silverberg. I've read a couple of his novels, which, and I absolutely love them. Not read any of his short stories. I do have a couple of short story collections by him. So maybe I should check them out sometime. Next one. Kamal Hachadi uh, just put K, so we'll, we'll call this person K. Um, they've got quite a lot to contribute here. One, Repent Harlequin Said the TikTok Man by Harlan Ellison. As of now, it's my favourite. Prose, structure, deep questioning of many aspects of life, and reflecting even today's preoccupations. Okay, I have heard of this one. Yeah, that, that is quite a well-known story. Two, The Emperor of Mars by Alan M. Steele. I've not heard of that one, though. I don't know this author. A celebration of one nostalgic moment of the science fiction genre and a majestic ending Still giving goosebumps, just remembering it. Interesting. Three, Rogue Farm by Charles Stross. I'm not sure, but I think that British authors have some unique flavour in writing SF. That's among other mind-puzzling stuff that I love about this one. Hmm. And number four, The Hydraulic Emperor by Arcady Martini. For unknown reasons, I couldn't forget this one. Please read it and tell me why. Intriguing. I just purchased William Gibson's Burning Chrome, Cordowina Smith's The Instrumentality of Mankind, and Alfred Bester's The Dark of Earth. So I'm sure I will find me another favourite after reading them. Thanks. God, I want to win this giveaway. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot to unpack there. A lot of recommendations. Uh, thank you for, for those. Burning Chrome, I haven't read yet, but I do have a copy of that, and I've talked quite a bit about Cordwainer Smith on this channel. Uh, so, yeah, thank you. Let's move on to the next one. Joe, by his bootstraps, Heinlein. Quite a long short story, possibly a novella, in which case, if that doesn't qualify. Surface Tension, by James Blish which has an awesome ending sentence. Very interesting. Uh, thank you for those. Haxi 40, In Constant Moon by Larry Niven. And Haxi 40 uh, followed this up with more detail in the YouTube comment. I wouldn't miss this one. Of course I'm in. My recommended short story is In Constant Moon by Larry Niven. The story is about the protagonist realising that the moon that night is much brighter than usual. You might get an idea why, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone. I read or I read many short story collections and anthologies, but this is the only story that I remember vividly. Everything is so well described. 
that I just I don't just remember the story. I see it as a movie in my head. There's also an Outer Limits episode made from it that I might see someday. I remember the few Outer Limits episodes that I've seen were quite good, but still I don't want to risk it and ruin the story. So yes, I recommend it to everyone who wants to read a good short story. That is quite a glowing recommendation. Uh, I've not read any Larry Niven yet. I've got Ringworld on my TBR. Um, In Constant Moon. Okay, I, I need to make a note of that. Uh, and I will read it when I get the chance. Uncle Buck. Tale of Ten Worlds by Arthur C. Clarke. I don't know that one, but Clark was quite a prolific short story writer. Uh, and he did write some pretty amazing stuff back in the day. So this may well be one of his good ones. Sci-Fi Brandon. Now, this is the last one from the book giveaway. Uh, Detonation Boulevard by Alistair Reynolds. So we've got Reynolds again. It's a fun and interesting story about a race on the moon Io. Races have to avoid lava gases and other hazards to win. They race in rover-like vehicles. You can find the story on Tor's website, reactormag.com, for free. Also, another great story is Emergency Skin by N.K. Jemison. Well, thank you, Sci-Fi Brandon. Um, yes, Detonation Boulevard is one of Alistair Reynolds' more recent stories. I haven't read it yet, but as I can read it for free online, I think... I don't have any excuse not to now, so I would definitely check that one out. Uh, and N.K. Jemison, that sounds interesting too. Now let's move on to the YouTube comments, starting off with Joe. I'm not competing in the book giveaway, but here are some of my favourite short stories in no particular order. I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream by Harlan Ellison. Absolute classic, of course. Nightfall by Isaac Asimov, which is also an absolute classic. It's a Good Life by Jerome Bixby. I'm not familiar with this one. Uh, I don't know Jerome Bixby. Houston, Houston, Do You Read by James Tiptree Jr. The Man Who Never Grew Young by Fritz Leiber. And for short story collections, it's hard to beat the science fiction Hall of Fame Volume 1 edited by Robert Silverberg, The Best of the Nebulas, edited by Ben Bova, and the two groundbreaking original anthologies edited by Harlan Ellison, Dangerous Visions, and again, Dangerous Visions. Love your channel. Thank you, Joe. You've got a, a lot there to recommend. Um, that sounds great. Um, so yeah, Dangerous Visions is a book which I definitely want to read. I don't own a copy of it but that is one which is I think I, I do need to read it at some point okay and this comment comes from Bart from Bart's Bookspace another contributor to the amazing SF short stories video so he gives another recommendation here uh, this was a comment on my Liu Shin video I read the Time Migration into Hold Up the Sky short story collection, which is the one of the stories which I was talking about. I don't remember if I liked it. From that book, I enjoyed The Village Teacher quite a bit. So this is not a, a story which I've read, but The Village Teacher, yes, I've also heard, is a good one for Liu Shin. So thank you, Bart, for that one. I'll also link Bart's booktube channel down below. It's also... Well worth checking out. Okay, and this one, I uh, can't remember which video this comes from, but anyway, this person says, nice idea. Uh, too many booktubers don't seem to like or appreciate short stories, but in sci-fi, maybe even more than other genres, they're the bricks the whole thing's built from, in my opinion. Very true. And aside from the usual suspects and those recommended, The Light of Other Days, 
which Richard talked about in, in one of my videos, is one of my all-time favourites, for instance. I'll always recommend Greg Egan's collection, Axiomatic, when SF and F short stories come up, e.g. Unstable Orbits in the Space of Lies. From that is another fave of mine. Okay, so a Greg Egan story. And this one comes from Lisa Gullick. Uh, you really should also read N.K. Jemison's The Ones Who Stay and Fight, which is an answer story to Omalas. Sometimes walking away isn't enough. And this does sound very intriguing. It's a, I guess this is a kind of follow up to The Ones Who Walk Away from Omalas. And if you ever want to see an extremely silly use of a time machine, read Full Chicken Richness by Avram Davidson, a great author in many genres. Someone else who I've not heard of. That's a new author to me. Thank you for those recommendations. This comes from David Young Space. Excellent list. Uh, this was my top 10 video, I think. Thanks for doing this. Um, I also enjoyed the original short version of Blood Music before Bear expanded it to the full-length novel. Thank you. Yep, I have read that one. Uh, I've not actually read the novel. I've read the short story version of Blood Music, and I talked about it in my Top 10 Mad Scientist video. So, yes, I agree. It's an excellent short story. Okay, this one comes from someone else. What is happening in the real world with technological choices? Damned if you don't by Randall Garrett. Again, a new author to me. Does anyone know this author or this story? Uh, sounds quite intriguing. Okay, and that's the full list. Those are all of the recommendations. Uh, once again, thank you to everyone who's given me these recommendations. There's a lot to check out here. Um, and of course, keep the recommendations coming. If you have anything more you want to share with me, please comment on this video. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'll see you later.